Hey guys, it's Renee. So last time we talked about essentials for cookies and now we're going to be talking about essentials for cupcakes. Now keep in mind, as I said in the previous video, I don't have a lot of things but I use all the things that I have or I tend to use most of them. This could work if you're on a budget or if you don't have a lot of things or do you want to know how people use their stuff or how they do it. So the first thing I have here is my recipe and you can use either a cake mix that works for cupcakes as well or you can use one from scratch. I have two from scratch. I'm going to link them both below but from the from scratch recipe I find out that a very essential thing that I have to use, otherwise I, I won't have the same consistency or the fluffiness, is using cake flour. Now cake flour is a bit more expensive and is not as easy to just find as all-purpose flour. I find mine at a bakery supply store is having a spatula because some of the times all of the mixture just uh, remains on the bottom so you just have to go with your spatula and just make sure everything is mixing well together and the last thing that I'm going to be mentioning in the first point is not essential but it has helped me a lot is having a mixer either it's a hand mixer or a stand mixer but it's going to make your whole life easier especially on the frosting part which is my next point because you're going to find out that frosting it tastes a lot better and the consistency is a lot smoother and just more fluffy when you just take your time mixing your butter. Honestly, so, so easy, two ingredients only. The next point is my cupcake wrappers. You're going to find out that there are a lot of really cute stuff, but for baking, like when I put my butter on my, my cupcake wrappers and I bake them, I usually just bake them on like the typical white this one's because for me this is a waste you're going to be like removing the wrapper anyways and throwing it away so if i want to add something cute like a cute wrapper around i just put it like you're watching right now like on the bottom part and then my my cupcake wrapper that i baked my butter with and that's it so i can reuse the cuter one if i want it and then my fourth point is my cupcake pan and I have two here, I have the big one and the smaller one for my mini cupcakes. Then my other essential is my piping bags and my piping tips. So for piping tips, I have this two from Wilton. And a not so like commercial brand, I have this two that are bigger as you can see. But yeah, a lot of brands, a lot of sizes and just choose whatever works for you. And then for my piping tips, I store them in here. This is my Folgers thingy. I bought the Wilton's basic decorating something book a long time ago. And it came with all those, those things. And this is the couplers, things like that. Yeah, those things are the ones that you need for your piping tips. And then I have this that is for cakes. It came in the set. And then I have this one, it's from a local brand, but it's like this big. You get, um, I don't really know what number of Wilton this is. Then I have uh, this one, 1M from Wilton. I think I have like two of them. There you go. I have two because I lose things. This thing, I think this is for filling cupcakes. And this is the number of it. I have this one. Or like small tiny stars, a lot of people make rosettes out of this one. I have, I think, like three or four of this one. I have a toothpick, random toothpick in there. I have another random toothpick. This is 2D. This is another kind of for roses. The difference between this one and the 1M is this one. This one is closed like this and this one is more open. And then I got this both from local brands, well from local stores. And then I have here another of these ones. I have two actually, 216. I'm pretty sure one I got at the, the kit that I mentioned before and one I bought maybe before, before I got the kit. But this is what they look like, again, for rosettes and stuff like that. And then I got from Wilson this one, 104. This is a thing that people use when they want to make rose cupcakes. 
I'm going to be making roses with this one. Stay tuned for that, but this is the one for roses. I have um, an 18, which is pretty much like a 16, but just bigger. Just going to show you side by side so you can see this the bigger one this is the 18 and this is the, e, the um, 16 i have this 21 like the same thing but bigger and i have this one number 12 that looks like a regular one but it's smaller and i have no idea why i don't have a wilton of this um round ones i guess it's because i knew i had two and then I have this thing, this is the lip one, this is 352 and I've used it a couple of times in my videos if you want to check them out. A lot of people make them out of uh, you know, Ziploc bags. I have never been successful using Ziploc bags and then trying to make a leaf, so this is the one that I use. Welton number 3 is most likely what people use to decorate cookies. Just a tiny tip in there. This is number 3. Welton number 1. What is this? I don't know. Oh, I have another 18 as well. So I have two 16, two 18. I have no idea why, but I have two. So I have here left this one that I'm going to talk about in a second. And then uh, some random toothpicks. I have this ones before I got this one because I used to clean my piping tips like this, going all the way around and so. And then I discovered this one I didn't discover it. They they have been selling it for years and years, but this is the first time that I saw it in the store. And this has got like a kind of this thing, and then a small brush. So it's like two sides. It comes in handy when you're working with a lot of piping tips, because it gets sometimes annoying that you can't really get into those tiny spaces. And this is where I store my stuff. They give you these things on the kit as well. I've never used them to be honest. And then my spatula is my other point that I mentioned before. I have two. I always tend to use it. And I thought because of the shape, this was going to be awkward. And that's why I bought this one. But honestly, this shape is better. Because it's it's easier to, to handle and to work with. Rather than just this one. This a bit, I don't know, weird to, to handle. And sometimes I just work with cakes like this. And I have here brushes. These are not essential. But I sometimes like to decorate my cupcakes with some floral details and for those I use brushes and they are another alternative for having cute cupcakes. Then my next one is my cupcake plastic containers and this is when I make cupcakes and sometimes when I, I'm not going to be decorating them right away I just store them inside here and then I put them inside the freezer for a few weeks. They hold the fluffiness and they taste good but when I just make cupcakes and decorate them I just store them in there and just put them inside the fridge or sometimes even in the at room temperature in the container just so they are stored. This is a good way if you want your cupcakes to still be moist and still have that fluffiness. That's another way to carry them around. Or if you're just going to give them away, this is a good presentation to just carry all your cupcakes. You're going to have cuter options, you're going to have like basic options like mine, it's up to you. And I bought mine from a local store as well, you can find them online or you can find them at, you know, baking splicers. And this is my ice cream scooper, so I pretty much grab the batter and just kind of remove the excess and then just place it on my cupcake wrappers as I'm doing my cupcakes. And I just love this tool because it's going to give you the same amount of batter in each and every one of your cupcakes. So they are going to be looking a bit better. And it's going to help you quantify exactly how many cupcakes you can get out of a batter. And then my last one is my rollizing toppers for decorations. Sometimes I just would decorate my cupcakes with my toppers. I'm going to put a few of the videos of cupcakes with toppers down below in the description box so you can check that out. And that's pretty much it for my cupcakes. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.